Welcome to Godly Play, where we walk more slowly and talk more softly so that we can hear the Word of God. Are you ready to go into Godly Play? Then let's begin. The Lord be with you. Well, it's time to take a look at our calendar again and move forward one week. So, what color are we in this week? That's right, we're still in purple. And where else on our calendar do we have the color purple? That's right, we have these four weeks up here. And purple is a color the church uses to symbolize getting ready for something. So up here, we have four weeks of getting ready for Christmas. And here we have six weeks of preparing or getting ready for Easter. So I'm going to move our arrow one week forward in our Lenten season. So we're on one, two, three, four, five, the fifth week of Lent. And we only have one more week left in Lent, and then it's the mystery of Easter. Let's sing our good news song, and then we'll tell our story. Good news, good news, hear the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia, hear the word of God. I'm going to adjust the camera again so you can see the story better. See how that works. Okay. This is the season of Lent, the time we get ready to celebrate the mystery of Easter, the time we are all on the way. To Jerusalem. But who will show us the way? Jesus will show us the way. Once every year, the people of God go up to Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of the Passover and remember how God brought them safely through the water to freedom. year, as Jesus traveled to Jerusalem, people hoped that he would be their king because he did such amazing things and said such wonderful things. When they heard that Jesus was near Jerusalem, they ran out from the city to him and shouted, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. They put their cloaks and their palm branches on the road to prepare a way for Jesus. And they shouted, Hosanna in the highest.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You too can prepare the way of the Lord. So now I invite you to go get your own cloaks and palm branches. in whatever form you choose. Maybe you want to make your own with art supplies. Or maybe you want to go to your closet or out into your yard. Or maybe you just want to close your eyes and use your imagination. And when you're ready, you can come back And you can lay your cloak down and say, Hosanna in the highest. And then you can lay your palm branch down and say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now that we have prepared the way for Jesus, I wonder, I wonder why they put down palm branches. And I wonder how Jesus felt when the crowd wanted him to be their king. I wonder who the people were who shouted, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I wonder if everyone along the road laid down their cloak and their palm branch. I wonder who the people were who stayed back in Jerusalem. I wonder why Jesus the King rode on a donkey instead of a horse. I wonder what kind of king 
Jesus would be. And I wonder what it would be like to live in Jesus' kingdom. And finally, I wonder where you are in today's story on the way to Jerusalem. Now this is usually our time for reflection. So I would invite all of you to decide, maybe pause the video here and go take some time to maybe get some art supplies. Maybe you want to do some drawing or writing in a journal or maybe you want to tell the story again to yourself or maybe you want to tell last week's story or what other, ac other activity you choose. And then maybe well, after you do that, the next thing we usually do is we sit down and we have our feast. So maybe you'd like to have, get something to eat with those you're with, and maybe you can talk about what you did during reflection time, what happened during your week, what you want to pray for for next week. And when you're done with that, why don't you come back? Now it's time to do our Christ candle and to read our scripture from today's story. Let me scoot back some. You'll be able to see the candle better. Here we go. So today's scripture is from the book of John, chapter 12, verses 12 and 13. The next day, the great crowd that had come for the feast heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Let's say a prayer. Father God, thank you for being with us here and now, in this time and space. Thank you for inviting all of us to run out to meet you along the way to Easter. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So the light of Christ can never be extinguished. 
but it can change so that we experience it in different ways. So I'm going to put our cup over the top of our candle and it changes the light into smoke. Maybe you can see that today and imagine what it smells like as it fills up the room with the light of Christ and the love of Christ. Now let's sing Go Now in Peace as our final song. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you And as you leave godly play today, may God bless you and keep you. And as you prepare to enter into all of your activities and relationships, be assured that you are not on your own, that God is with you, loving and caring for you every step of your day. See you next week.